good luck. All right, so this is the Federation of Shogi for the Americas. Uh, the tournament director here is Chilenito. And today we're playing a 10 minute game unrated with 30 second Bioyomi. Um, My sound effects seem a little quiet today, but I think that's okay. Interesting. Is there something going on here that I'm not aware of? Well, yes, is the short answer. Well. Well, well, well. Um... I'm going to avoid playing Bishop Exchange, because we don't know that yet. Then we're going to pick a file for our Rook. So... There are plenty of good files to select from. I like this one. This one looks fun. Okay, if I bring the silver, 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 silver... silver. Yeah, I'm still in time here. I think this is playable. I could also consider pushing this pawn directly, but um, there's tactical problems with that. Uh, least of which is that they get to promote their rook. Um, okay, so we can play this way. My silver protects this pawn, which means I can drop back the bishop if I need to. Which means let's take some time to protect our king. And that's interesting. Um, hmm. Hmm. What does this mean? I think what this means is I should protect my king before attacking. It's a message I don't get very often. Yeah, no, this is a fine shape here. It's certainly playable. Um, there we go. We have built a castle. They have built a castle. Uh, oh, so now I can drop back the bishop, right? That was the whole plan. I think that makes more sense than bringing the silver forward. Oh, silver forward doesn't look terrible. Um, hmm. If I attack this silver, if they tick this, that's bad for them. If they exchange bishops, their rook promotes. See, I can't do that. Um, I think this is normal, this kind of bishop move. I don't think I've done anything too crazy just yet. Oh, interesting. So they double down on attacking my pawn. I have to protect it, because if I try to like push it, bad stuff happens. Well, yes, bad stuff happens. Um... Okay. Thankfully, I'm prepared for that occasion. The lesson we had last game is don't be afraid to fight back against their generals in the center of the board. Here is one such occasion where definitely I should be fighting back, and so we shall. Um, yeah, I need to use my generals effectively, and here we've opened up our bishop as well. 
that pawn move looks ill-timed. Uh, yeah, this makes sense. Um, hmm. Interesting. I guess this is straightforward now. I kick the silver because I can't. This is my domain. Uh, their rook prevents my rook from promoting. Um. Rook exchange would be premature here. We'll claim this diagonal once more. Even though this does kind of... Inc oh, I could have tried to harass the rook, come to think of it. But here they give me another chance, incredibly. Um, yeah, I don't get what's going on this game. My bishop blocks my rook, that much I know. Um... Okay, we're going to block the line to my king, which could make it harder for me to use my bishop. Maybe. They are interested in activating their bishop immediately, but there are consequences to that. Um, since they haven't pushed pawn 5-5, five five and they can't... Um, hmm. All right, I'll assert myself again. I don't think I've missed anything critical here. This pawn is defended. Not directly, but it is defended indirectly. If they exchange pawns and then they take my pawn, I take the silver. So this opening looks like an immense success for me. Um, but I'm still the underdog rating wise, so I should be careful. Interesting.
Hmm. I see nothing better than taking this. Yes, this is the tactic they've been aspiring for for many turns. And they get it. Fair enough. But, um... I think I'm still doing fine. Yeah, so we're going to make some effort to activate my Rook directly. But yeah, more likely that we just activate it indirectly by exchanging Rooks. So this allows my Rook to immediately become active. Uh, right over here. We're playing with 30 second Bioyomi, so I'm trying to conserve some time. Oh, interesting. Yes, these, that's how the pieces move, isn't it? Very observant, Nito. Very observant. Um... I don't know what to do, other than, like, yeah, I'm in dire straits now. Um, that's impressive. Fine. We'll fight with what we have, because that's all we can fight with here. Uh, I'll take that. So we're down a full rook. And our pieces are floating. Um, so. There might not be such things as a total failure, but this is pretty close. Yeah, I don't know what happened. But hey, it's an unrated game. And a good learning experience. Um, or a good opportunity to learn, rather. Alright, so we'll just keep taking toward the castle. And pray that things work out. I would attack this gold and this knight and all that, but I need to defend this bishop, so instead we'll make the best we can here. Mm 
10秒。Okay, interesting. Guess we retreat this way to try to keep the castle intact. Um, hmm. interesting. Maybe this. This looks doubtful, but you know. I'll try to fight. I think this is the best I can manage here. I mean, yeah, I'm getting very severely attacked, but um, I think this is still the best I can manage given these circumstances. So let's support this silver. I wanted to play a pawn drop in front of my silver, but realized this is even sadder than the move I did play. Um, okay, I thought I had something prepared for this. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, I'm considering a constellation of different Nifus I can do here, which might not be the best use of my time. Um, hmm. oh, my silver's still trapped here. Even after all of this. Um. Hmm. Screw it. You know, this is the best I can find here. It's not great. Um. Hmm. 
This position is sad. It's hopeless after they do this sack, but, you know, I don't know what else I can try here. Hmm. Yeah, this doesn't work in any way, does it? Well, there might be a way that it might do something useful. We are getting very speculative here. Um, it's a good tactic. Hmm. Yeah, nicely played. Thanks for the game. Alright, well, that was exciting. Um, yeah. yeah, thanks for the game. Uh, that'll give us something to analyze. Um, I don't know how much they're interested in doing post-game analysis. The, they might just be off to the next round, but... Yeah, this is an interesting opening here. Um... Not totally sure what happened here. Uh, but yeah, there will be things for us to figure out. Um, it's really hard with the 30-second Bioyomi to evaluate everything. Uh. Mm. I don't know, like, there's other things I can try. Um, perhaps one of these other moves makes sense. Because what I played, yeah. There's more space, um, the roll on my side. Not totally sure what this means. Um, oh, also, like, yeah, well, I can't drop the pawn, can I? Uh, oh! Yeah, so if I have a space advantage, uh, exchanging pieces does not benefit me. <laughs> yeah, in chess you know this. In shogi, maybe it takes a while to learn it. Uh, but that is the key concept here, which I flubbed. <laughs> yeah. 
He tries to get pawns only at the beginning. Um, and usually he's more successful at it than he was this time. But yeah. Yeah, and it helps to know which pawns are useful and which ones are useless. But what can you do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So they played a quick attack. I did not respond correctly. Oh, yeah, we'll give him the hat so you can show off stuff. Um, yeah, he built up a quick attack and I just could not for the life of me figure this out with the clock ticking. By the way, so yeah, he's pointing out the rook exchange clearly didn't favor me. Uh, he knows that I know this. Um, I mean, I get confused sometimes like in opposing rook. Oh, here an important proverb I missed was... Uh, it's always something. Make sure you have an escape route. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that was amazing. Um, so, yes. Yeah, certainly, yeah. Yeah, I usually spend time thinking things through very carefully. Here, I was just driven by emotion. Um, but yeah, I, was, I was a bit tilted by everything that happened up to this point, and being down five minutes, and only having a 30 second Bioyomi instead of 60. But I didn't adapt well to it, and I need to do adapt better in the future. So, yeah. It all happened very quickly. <laughs> Same to you. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, time management's part of the game. <laughs> yeah. That's fair. I played a decent game, but yeah, I need to manage my time, use it. And not freak out when things get com uh, complicated. Uh, so yeah, our opponent is continuing to play in this knockout tournament. I have been knocked out. Oh well. I tried. Yeah, so better luck next time. Um, I do appreciate these insights. Like, don't exchange pieces when you have a space advantage. Um, yeah, and it helps... Okay, so my opponent is familiar with this particular strategy they employ a lot. I vary my opening too much to quickly gain ground on these basic things. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, yeah, he wants to take one second before the next game to see if there are other ideas this game. I think I just, that pawn drop in my territory caught me very much off guard, and I reacted poorly to it. Had I reacted better, I think my position could have been quite pleasant. But, um, yeah, possibly there are other things I could do better, even in the early opening. Because opponents are all prepared for what I'm doing. Um, 
and I'm having to figure things out as I go because I just don't have the same depth of experience other players have. That said, yeah, I was proud to find these good pawn uh, advances. Like, I had a really nice position, and this bishop takes and rook exchange and getting my rook trapped just threw everything away. And there's really not much I can do after that. So, yeah, I lost my rook for a pawn. And they have a solid castle. And they're promoting their rook. And, yeah, I don't have the right castle for this rook drop anyway. Um, I didn't expect the rook exchange, because I thought my attack would come too quickly. And, yeah, at this point I'm just lost. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it's just time management. That's fair. Either I need to spend more time or less time, but I spent exactly the right amount of time that what I did was just completely wrong. So, yeah, it helps to know one opening. <laughs> Yeah, so clearly, uh, yeah, I do not want to exchange pieces if I have a space advantage. Um, yeah. Have purposeful exchanges that support your attack, and yeah, don't get overwhelmed. Overwhelm the opponent, don't get overwhelmed. <laughs> so, I'm repeating myself, but like, what else can I say here? Yep. <laughs> Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, these things are good things to keep in mind. And, you know, practice, practice makes perfect. But, yeah. Alright. Yeah. Cool. Let's go to the finals, he says. Like, oh, have... I think this was a single elimination tournament, so I think I'm eliminated. Yeah. I'm pretty sure if I'm seeing things correctly in the tournament structure that, like, this loss means... Yeah, I do not continue, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I understand this correctly. This is not double elimination. So, yeah, the finals is going to be... Um, oh, interesting. Chile Nito versus... Charles Prieto. Um, that's quite an interesting pairing on the account of the rating disparity. Anyhow, for those interested in my game, yeah, I think I played a really nice game and I just got overwhelmed at... Where was that? He says he knows his first 10 moves, but he got a crappy position, honestly. Um... So yeah, move 42, like, I'm better here. As long as I just don't let this thing destroy me, I win. This is a good position. So like, bishop takes would have been... No, bishop takes is what I played. Bishop takes is not right. But um, as long as I keep control of this, I'm fine. It's when this breaks in that I'm just screwed extremely screwed so yeah uh, some kind of defense like this or this even or the rook over any one of these three things could have been okay instead i took the pawn and that was the difference between life and death here not really i'm exaggerating it because after having made my first mistake as long as i didn't compound that by playing a second mistake in sequence um I would have been okay. And it turns out, you know, if I wanted to, this rook drop would have been okay. Because they can't play both of these moves at the same time. So, yeah, I just... Numerous blind spots happened 
and um, I allowed myself to be overwhelmed. I lost control, and that's my fault. That's not my opponent's problem, that's my problem. So, hope we enjoyed that, and I'll see you next time.